everybody, it's Roxy from Feather Perfect Memories bringing for you today my last December daily process video. This is for days 22 to 26. Um, so I'm starting on day 22 and I'm going to use this acetate piece and do a see-through page. Um, I bought all this acetate to do see-through pages and I just didn't, just couldn't get myself to use it. I, I, I don't know, I just haven't done it yet. So here is me trialing it out. Now the left hand, bottom left hand corner is a 4x6 card and I made that all with digital scrapbooking um, templates and I did it all from my phone and I didn't have much to say on this day so I had a selfie of my daughter and I um, so I decided to write a letter to her. So this is a letter to her and then it just says um, the date which is December 22nd and um, uh, which is a digital stamp, uh, stamp, and then a Happy Christmas is the digital stamp on there as well. So I'm working on the right hand side trying to do this um, see-through page, um, and I'm just struggling with it. Um, but I put a few things down. I put down some chipboard stickers and a Christmas tree and put a star on top and just some normal stickers and um, chip. Uh, yeah, so normal stickers and chipboard stickers all from the Snow and Coco set and then um, the Christmas tree is cut out from my silhouette. Here I just had this Seraphis cup, it's a coffee um, place here and they did these cute little holiday cups. It was the, the Z for Seraphis with little antlers on top. So I am going to fuzzy cut around this and then just use it um, on the page with my daughter and I. I just kind of wanted to get it added into the album. It, the Z doesn't have any significance to this particular photo or anything, but I just thought it was cute, um, so I'm adding it in. Um, so on the right-hand side, the little die-cut piece says Memories in the Making, and then there is a sticker that says Warm Wishes, and a tiny word sticker that says Home Sweet Home, because we were home that day, so... Um, that's the photo of her and I cuddling on the couch and having a selfie. So on this little card I put, I adhered down, um, two die cuts and one's a snowflake and one's on how to make a snowflake and then the Z from the cup and a tiny word snicker, sticker that says snowflake kisses. Okay, so that's it for that page. So moving on to day 23. Um, so, like I said, I struggled with this see-through page, so I just decided to go go for it. I'm making an envelope here for a letter that my daughter received from a Santa's visit. We went and um, saw some Christmas lights, and there was a Santa Claus at one of the houses, and she gave him a lollipop. He gave her a lollipop and this letter from Santa. So I just decided to add it in. So I've just made like a little um, three by four envelope. And I'm going to use this paper clip from the Snow and Coco collection to um, keep it shut. And then the right hand side is a 6x8 photo, or 6x8 um, pocket. And I'm just putting a 4x6 photo in there of her receiving her lollipop and letter from Santa. And then just two photos of her and the Christmas lights we went and saw. So, um... On this right hand side I'm trying to do some contrast with another piece of um, paper and those the other one that I chose was too busy for me so I decided to use these two um, pattern papers and make um, little banners. I, I keep seeing people make banners and every time I try to make banners I just think they look silly. Um, so I really struggled with these banners. You'll see I'll pull them up a few times and do different things with them. So the number 23 tag I'm just putting up on pop dots and I'll put it on an angle. Here I am trying to make another banner and I really wanted the different elements of that banner to show as well because it was bringing in some more color and I'm just messing around with it and I pull pieces up. Here I go and staple it down and then staple that one over the picture and then I decide not to do the black and white one. Um, and just digging through some of my ephemera. At this point in time I'm really starting to um, not get over but um, get bogged down by doing this December daily. I've only been focusing on this and I haven't been doing anything else so none of my normal project life has been getting done and um, my daughter's birthday 
um, party. Her birthday is on Boxing Day, which is the 26th, but we're having her birthday party in January, and I'm making a whole bunch of those decorations, um, cake toppers and things like that, um, but I haven't had time to do any of that, which I thought I would, but I've just been focusing on this December daily and getting all these videos together. So I am looking forward to being done with this. I am done now. So I'm just making a little pocket. I didn't have enough room for my journaling, so I decided to make a little pocket on the back of this. And it didn't work, this piece. It was, well, I didn't cut it big enough, so then I'm trying again just to make this pocket for the journaling. Um, I just put a little um, Color Studio ta um, tag topper on the top so you knew there was some journaling back there. And on this card, um, there were diagonal stripes, so I'm just doing the journaling on the diagonal. And I'm just um, journaling about her Santa visit and us seeing the lights and all of that. So like I said, I have actually finished doing all my layouts. And so this will be the last process video. Um, you guys are going to have to leave a comment bo comment in the box below to let me know if you want um, just an album walkthrough from front cover to back cover of everything that's in the album um, or not because um, I haven't decided if I want to do that but if I if I get enough people that want to I can do that for you otherwise I'm going to jump straight back into doing my project life and making up those um, decorations for my daughter's birthday. So now I have moved on to uh, day 24. So this is Christmas Eve. So on Christmas Eve, we made cookies for Santa. So my daughter loves helping me in the kitchen. So I just um, have three photos of her. I have one photo of her um, pouring the ingredients into the bowl, one of her mixing, and one of us rolling the dough up um, into cookies. So... Um, I'm just putting down some washi tape on this left hand side just to add some interest and I'm really trying to use up the rest of these um, these supplies I have um, and this um, this uh, tag is from the Snow and Coco set and then I'm also using this um, craft star tag I got those at the cheap shop and I've been using them throughout the the album and then this star is from one of the Allie Edwards kits and more stickers and I'm going to do a bit of stamping, and the um, stamp I'm going to use is Baking Treats, and then I'm going to journal about us baking. I didn't like how it stamped, but then I didn't know how to cover it up, so I just went with it. Um, and I popped that back in that page, but I pull it out again. So I'm just adhering these photos down to just 3 by 4 cards where the um, edge of it just... Um, shows just a little bit just to give it some interest and I'm writing my journaling into the baking so into the flour and into the bowl and I had this card that said stop cookie that says stop cookie time so I thought that was the perfect card for this page so I'm just dressing it up with some washi tape top and bottom and doodling around the edge um, and leaving that card as is because I think that just says everything it needs to. So this is going to be my date card and this is the date tag that says 24 and I just did some doodling around the edge because it just was so white to me. Put some twine in there and I'm adhering that down with a um, little die cut piece that says Merry Little Christmas. So in the ingredients I wrote step one, step two and then I'm pulling out the other side and I did step three on that side, on the left hand side. So I've moved on to day 25, um, so this is obviously Christmas Day, so the story for this day is opening of presents, and we had two sessions of opening presents. We did opening presents at our house and opening presents at Nan and Poppy's house, so I have photos from both, um, and I'm just um, trying to figure out where I want all my pieces. So I just have this piece of, um, it's like taffeta, um, and so I tied it onto the top of that um, number sticker trying to make it look like a little um, Christmas um, wrapped present. And then I had a um, chipboard sticker still left over and it was had the number 25 so I decided to use that as well. Trimming down these photos and just adhering them down with a little bit of the, um, the paper behind it. Now I really wanted to use this little um, rubber piece that said days, so I used um, my stickers, or my puffy st uh, alphabet stickers, to say holidays, 
um, and then I got I dropped it and got glue everywhere, so I had to wipe it off. And I'm just doing the journaling about her helping Nana in the kitchen for Christmas dinner. And then I'll move on to the left hand side and adhere down those photos and um, write some journaling on this um, wreath card. And I put that sticker on there that says shine. The good tidings of comfort and joy card I leave plain. I think that says enough all by itself and it's pretty um, pretty busy so I didn't want to add anything to it. And I'm just um, looking through my stickers to see what I have left. And I did my album up until the 26th because, I've, as I mentioned earlier, my daughter's birthday is on Boxing Day, which is the 26th, so I wanted to add her birthday on here too. So I'm just using the Studio Calico number sticker, or number stamp. It says number two, um, and it'll, I'll put in the ND for second. And using these um, word um, stickers to say happy, puffy word stickers. Um, and I'm trying to say birthday, but none of my stickers have any D's left. So I have to get creative and use an O and kind of bend it around to make it look like a D. I know it's not really the best, but it looks, it looks okay. And then I stamp on this number two, which didn't stamp very well. I was very disappointed. This is the first time I've used these stamps, so maybe I need to clean them off and get them not so stamped. Um, so just the two and the ND for a happy second birthday, and that's that card. I'm just using a piece of washi tape to dress up this card. Um, the card says party, and I'm just um, adhering down the 26 and some stars. Um, I'll come back and put a sticker on that again later. Um, so I have lots of photos from her birthday. So I did a collage from her birth photo, her first year photo, and her second birthday photo. So that's the collage on the bottom left there. And I am going to just adhere that down to this spotty paper. I was trying to make it look birthday-ish um, and not so Christmassy. So it's kind of on this spotty happy paper. It's from the same paper pads that I've been using. And I really struggled with where to put um, the 26th and, um, and the journaling card because they were almost the same color card and they just really, I did really not like them together on top of each other. So. I had to get them on the diagonal, so I moved them around a lot. This little um, piece that says summer, um, I just thought it was cute with her with that umbrella, so I'm going to um, trim this down, adhere that down to the paper, and put summer on there, because um, it rains a lot here in the summer, and she got an umbrella, and was so cute, she liked it. Just using some stick, um, of those stickers left, and moving these cards around again. Um, so this is her happy, her today I turn to milestone card and my journaling card to journal about, um, the day. So it just says the best part of today and then I do all the journaling and I use a tiny sticker that says shine. And then I move on to my last page of the album and I'm just carrying this through for her birthday, um, because I don't know what else to do with the last page. So I decided just to do more birth birthday photos. So I have a photo of her with her number two birthday cake that I made, another umbrella photo, um, and a, a, just a photo that I took of her on the deck, um, smiling for me. And I'm just doing, um, my journaling on this noted card. So I hope you enjoyed this December daily process video um, videos. Um, so if you want me to do a walk through the entire album, please leave a comment below and I can do that for you guys. Um, I thank you for watching and I hope you have a lovely day um, and I will see you soon. Bye now.